Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. Notice a man. That's in my book, by the way, that I cover that and explain that in a little more detail. And his number is 600, three score and six. Several years back, I taught a message on the golem and an understanding of the golem. And uh, I brought out just briefly at the end of that message, because I, and I only saw with the light that I had at the time. But I knew there was, there was far more. We think of 666. And there's been so many prognostications and so many things said about the mark of the beast. And, and we've all heard it, and we've all probably taught it. You know, I mean, I've written scripts on, you know, microchips, and that's real big right now, and all this kind of thing. But when I saw your explanation in your book of this, it was just so staggering to me. And I included, as you know, a few things from your teaching in my book. But you can explain it far better than I. Will you take a few minutes and just give us your understanding of this because it's going to be so enlightening to so many people. It's Kai, Sai, and Stigma yes. in the original language. Guess what they think it is. Yes. They didn't know what these symbols were. So they thought they were Greek symbols. Then they began to evolve into, let's see, what do these symbols really mean? Why would there be three Greek symbols into the text? Why would God put three Greek symbols as a mystery? Well, God is not an author of mysteries, by the way. His yoke is easy. What they thought were symbols were in reality a different script than even the Greek. God is not interested in gamatria. Gamatria is the process of adding numerals regarding names. Maybe you take Hillary Clinton. H is number is this and you know and then you add it up see if Hillary Clinton means 666 and maybe she's the beast. Maybe it's Gorbachev, so you know, then Gorbachev, and you add 666. Gematria was a process that was used in witchcraft. God is not interested in this Gematria stuff. Okay? So this developed, and then the translation started to put down 666, because they thought it was about the Gematria. But if you look at the Codex Sinaiticus and the different codexes, they don't have 666. They got these symbols. Some even translated these symbols as 616. But it's not. When I first saw the Codex Vaticanus, I was literally shocked because I could read the text. It was Arabic. And as you, as I look at it, it had these, what, what thought these symbols, this and this in a very kind of circular way, you know. And then you had this symbol. All right? Now this is an Arabic word. You can film it and ask an Arab, what is that word? Bism, in the name of. And this word, you can ask any Arab what that word is. Bism Allah, in the name of Allah, was on that badge that people put in their foreheads as John documented what he saw on the godly video. God showed him. And that will be the symbol of Islam, which is the two swords. That is a symbol in Saudi Arabia. It's a symbol of Islam from the yawns of time. As a matter of fact, if you don't want to believe me, I urge you to uh, watch a movie called Kingdom of Heaven. I don't like the movie, the outcome of the movie that Salah Haddin was a nice guy and the Crusades were the bad guys and that kind of thing. When he's sitting in a tent talking to the king, you will see at some point in time, Pause it when you see Salah Haddin and his men with these badges on their arms. Because it says on the right arm, the arm is dexios. Dexios means arm and not specifically hand. The word for mark is karagma, Greek, which means badge of servitude. It's a literal badge, all right? Made out of paper, etching, cloth that is put on the forehead and on it is several things. It could be the name of the beast, the mark of the beast, the, num the, the multitude of the beast, and being the name of the beast is the Islamic declaration they already put on their foreheads. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, or it will have Bismillah on it, and it will have the mark of the beast. It could be the crescent moon itself. All kinds of flavors that shows allegiance to the Antichrist. In fact, he 
even the Prophet Muhammad ordered, I have it with me here, there it is, Muhammad the Prophet of Islam declared, Allah will save a man from my nation above all men in the day of judgment. When they open the registers, and the register will be as far as you can see with your sins. And then he is asked, are there any excuses for your sins? And he says, no, Lord. Do you have any excuses? He says, no. He's, and then the Lord will tell him, you have only one good deed that you have done. And he will bring out a badge on it. And it says, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. And then by this, he will enter paradise. In other words, that badge will rescue the Muslim to enter into the kingdom of his heaven. Where that, in reality, will enter him into eternal damnation. It's so clear. All the things that is going on with Islam, it is so clear as a whistle. The reversal of what you believe is what they believe. The antithesis of the Bible is what they believe in. Thank you.